Where's that music coming from? I'm sure you guys can hear it too. There, there's some sort of music going on in the background. Are we all stocked up on yes, all stocked up, stocked up on ammo. Too bad we can't get any help. What is this like a purification room or something? Keep us from getting dirty. I have no idea what that is. Doesn't look like we can interact with it at all, but anyway. Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Half-Life Source with Mios Fu and Well We're at Lambda Core. And we've only got a little bit left. Oh my goodness. This is impressive. Look at this, this is like the same I'm up here. Practice your long jump if you must, but hurry up. This is the same sort of uh generator that started the whole thing. So anyway, practicing our long jump. And this guy should start the countdown in a at any moment. And this hopefully will send us off so that we can deal with this alien incursion. Alright, how do we get this started? Are we just waiting for you, or what? I, I've done, I'm done practicing my... I can open the portal now. The process is complicated, and once it's begun, I must not be interrupted, or I will have to start all over again. Don't enter the beam until I give the okay. Understood? Okay. I will begin. Alright, let's do this. I'm gonna stand up here, because this will give me a better vantage point. Oh gosh, that was a bad idea. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Oh dear. All right, enemies. Now these are going to be the enemies we're going to start running into after we teleport over. That's why he's creating the whole beam if you remember from last episode they told us that. And this is going to be the majority of the guys that we're going to end up fighting once we're over there. So Use this time to get used to fighting them. This is pretty much the time when they're introduced. Shotgun's pretty effective. You don't want to use your uh, your special energy weapons too much just yet, just because. Well, just because just because it's going to be helpful to have some ammo on hand later on. Oh gosh. Fortunately, pretty, they, they hit pretty hard, so just keep moving, because there's no other way to really dodge. And their part, their beams do have a slight tendency to zoom in. Come on. Can we go? I'm going. I can't wait. Oh god, hopefully we waited long enough. <laughs> we did. As soon as it reaches that same sort of style. Oh god. It's another per person in a hazard suit. Now, there are. There are two other people that had hazard, su hazard suits. Um. They're actually the protagonists of Half-Life Decay, a PS2 title that was, uh, well, a Half-Life spin-off game that was only released for the PS2, but these are not them, um, because this is actually another team, I believe, that was sent to Zen, as far as the whole Half-Life canon goes. Right. Oh, I hate doing these jumps. Oh, goodness. It doesn't help that you guys are spawning right behind me either. Right, so next up... Oh! Jeez, where are you guys coming from? Right, so next up, we want to jump to, I believe, this guy. Coming around here. Thank goodness that there is slightly reduced gravity, otherwise we'd never be able to make these jumps either. Hey! Okay, there we go. And just make our way down to... Down to the, down to the floor. Because even though there's reduced gravity, you're still going to take damage from falls, so just be careful. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. I mean, this is 
this is fun, even though it's platforming in a first-person shooter, and I know I've... Oh gosh, we're screwed. And I know that I, I've already told you guys my views on how bad I think first-person platforming is. Um, this is this is done pretty well. All right, so there is a platform going around near the base. I'm trying to find that right now. Uh, somewhere around here. The other thing we can do is we can drop down to these. Take our, these take out our guys before we go any further. Oh crap! Oh crap! I wasn't sure if those would hurt us or not. Oh, I love these. I love these. Watch what happens when you get close. <gasps> They're like little sea anemones. Or whatever those things are that'll duck their... Well, most sea creatures. That'll duck their head when you get too close. Oh, I Damn it. I wasn't sure if those were activated by proximity or if we could just go by them. But, oh gosh. Pretty sure they are proximity. See if we can blow them up at all. No. Alright. There we go. <gasps> health. That'll help. No, I don't think so. Not today. Oy. Long jump helps. Let's just get past those guys pretty quickly. Alright. Nothing back here. Just these guys. Oy. Aha! Um, so, these springs will actually heal you if you stand in them for a while. They're kind of like the... I guess they're kind of like the hot springs from Mother 3. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna take my time. <gasps> Another member of the advanced team. Or whatever they are called. Oh, man. I forgot about these. I'm glad I found them. Okay. Sorry about that. Just had to move some things so I can see a clock. <laughs> Alright. So Gordon's party has been refreshed by the hot spring. Nice. So... See, there was a little hole here, so I'm gonna go through there, and... Hey, what's this? We can go deeper. <laughs> oh, boy. What are you? What are you? I don't remember you. Are you just gonna flit around? Looks like it. Huh. I honestly don't remember what I'm supposed to do here. Huh. I know it's something with this, but I... Uh, draw on a blank. Draw on a blank. Huh. It's a cool room, even though I can't remember what we're supposed to do in it. I love these things, too. They're, they're gonna start popping up even more. They just look like head crabs, but sort of sedentary ones that have become a part of the landscape or something. Like, imagine if head crabs were this big. Oh my god, I'd be freaking out. Oh, that's right. What we have to do is activate all three of these. And... Any moment... One, two. Third one. Oh, that's right. The, those things activate them. And that activates the portal. That's right. We can just go in. And it'll portal us somewhere else. <laughs> go in Ark Slayer. Oh, that's some awesome music. Alright. Quickly. No, I don't want that. Quickly gonna grab this stuff. Stay away from these guys, by the way, because they will hurt you if you get too close. What we need to do is take out this guy. Oh, crap. 
<laughs> I forgot about that. Because of the low Oh shoot. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to just skip right ahead. Not sure how much energy we're going to have. Oh. I guess that puts us up a little higher, but whatever. Same difference. I forgot that when you use this thing, make sure you're up against a wall because it will send you flying. <laughs> Which I think is pretty cool, but kind of screwed us over right there. Oh, crap. Of course, the cool thing with that is you can actually use it to... Oh, crap. You can use it to get a boost instead of just a regular jump. There we go. Gotcha. This guy's pretty hard, if I remember. But he is a mini-boss, so... Well, not a mini-boss. He's regular fauna at this point, isn't he? Right. It's gonna use this one. Take that, Gronark, or whatever your name is. Oh my god, even the Gluon gun isn't doing anything to him. What the heck? How are we supposed to fight him? If that's the case. And if I do remember correctly, we can also... What, did... what hit us? If I do remember correctly, we can also jump up these things to a certain extent. Well, not that way. Oh, mini head crabs. <laughs> I love these guys. They're they're cute. They're like malformed head crabs or something. I completely forgot about those guys. All right, but anyway, I believe we've got actually gotten rid of Gronark or whatever he is because we did enough damage to him. Let's go look. <gasps> mini crab. <laughs> Crab! Where'd you go? Well, I think they're like grown arcs babies or whatever. Um, yeah, there's another one. Because he's kind of like a spider in that he just lays like... Well, kind of like a spider. I mean, he's not really laying eggs, but... Oh, there we go. I knew there was one of these somewhere. There's usually going to be one of these in each area because there's not really an easy... Well, you can't have the HEV panels or the health panels in here, obviously, and there's not really an easy way to just get health all the time. But you will you will find them. You just got to look. Sometimes you got to take a couple of risks. Oh gosh, like that jump. <laughs> but it's it's never it's never too bad. It's always within a certain amount of reason. Alright, we're not going to be able to get up there, I don't think. Alright, well, um, I actually, I think I'm going to let you guys go for now. Uh, now that we've gone sufficiently far enough into some of the border world zen. Uh, this has been another episode of Let's Play Half-Life Source with Mio Xfu. Poor guy. He didn't even know it was coming. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.